Welcome back to Tricks Fix. This week we're working on combo construction. I'm going to be going over how to make your combos more unique and how to actually construct them from scratch. So the way I do it is I come up with a combo that is extremely simple. So here we've got a hook, one-handed cart, scoot, gainer. Super easy and uh, very easy to add on to. So do one that is just the easiest thing that you can come up with and uh, then we'll add on it to it from there. So for the sake of the video, I'm actually just going to add on to this combo for you guys so you can get an idea of what kind of things you can be doing to your combos to change them. Yeah. So all I did in this combo, it's the exact same except now it's an aerial and it becomes a gainer hook instead. A lot, it, gainer hook is not much harder than gainer, so it's an easy change there. So now we change the hook to a 7, change that to a, more of an aerial instead of a B kick, and now we get cork round. So now in this one, I just added kicks onto the beginning, so now it's a bit longer of a combo. So you got K-Step 9, a video on that if you don't know how to do that, into Tornado, which you don't see a lot, and Hook. It's almost like a down ladder. Change the Scoot to a TDR, and a Cork Shirk instead of a round. Same level of difficulty, but it just makes it a little different. And whenever I'm stumped making combos, I just reverse my combo. So I'll start with a usual Ender move. So I got Gainer there. And then I get the cart just like another one and Gainer Arabian just to spice it up. So that's a little bit harder than Gainer Hook there, but it's just different and keeping it unique. So what I want to say about this combo is it's super simple, um, but it and it ends with a side swipe, which is kind of weird. But imagine if this was Cheat 12, Cheat 9, uh, Hook into Butterfly, Shuriken, Cutter, Snap a Swipe. Then it would be really cool. So if you can't do this basic version of that, then there's don't expect to be able to do the hard version. That's what I think people forget to do is they don't, don't train the easy versions of these combos and then they have trouble doing the hard version. So here I want to talk about small transitions. It can be applied to any type of transition, but specifically right here is Illusion Twist Hook. Um, in the first one, I'm doing illusion twist, uh, more like a shuriken, where I land on my left foot first and I step hook. And in the second one, I am doing illusion twist pop 360 or pop hook. And then in the combo, it's like uh, more of a skip hook, but just off two feet. Super, super simple differences, but it makes a huge difference. Um, when you're making that transfer, people look at it very differently and they look like different moves. So whichever one looks more unique to you is the, is the one that you want to use. Or maybe it uh, complements your combo better. So maybe you're going to end, you know, with that illusion cork like that. And that makes the pop look better. So here I'm applying the same concept of reoccurring variations. So you got B-Twist Round, Vanish 9, which is a round, and then Vanish Mass Scoop because no hook kicks and then cork round so all the same variation over and over again and here it is again k step reverse out because that's tricky and unique front sweep into mass scoot gainer scissor because that is similar to the reverse out so the same variation repeated and i want to point out that there's also no hook kick in this one it just goes front sweep hyper master scoot because in tricking there are no rules you just get to put whatever you want wherever you want so if you think it looks nice then you can do it so now i've got my brother jeff instagram s rank link uh he's gonna do some combos with the same concept ideas so here's a a round concept starting with the blaster scoot round backside nine round front sweep because no hook Cart full hyper B twist round. So imagine if that was a double B twist, that would make the combo really good. Otherwise, it's unique. You don't usually see that. So now he's gonna take this combo here, 540, cart full, and he's gonna change it up with different transitions. But it's pretty much the same thing. So we got cheat nine hook instead of 540 kick, puts you in the same position. But then he goes master scoot cork, which he could have done cart full out of. Okay, now we got cork TD hook. 
Mass Scoop pop full. So the pop full instead of the swing cork. Inner nine hook. Broken TDR. So he just completely took the card out. So in this one, he applies reoccurring hooks as his variation. So cheat seven, back sweep, really good transfer to the master scoot, box cutter. So last thing I wanted to go over quick was how to make your combos more unique. So you might take a cookie cutter combo that starts with the cheat nine hook, which is what I've got here. Um, but a simple change you can do is add a variation. You can make it cheat seven turbo hook. It's a easy change, and you. I'm just trying to prove that you can add a variation anywhere in a combo. You can variate Scoot. You can variate Cheat 9. You can variate TDR, like Broken TDR. In, in, you can turn it into anything. Anything can be variated in any way, um, and that's how new moves are created. And you, Anybody can make it a thing. Anybody will want to copy something new if it looks great. So don't be afraid to try new stuff and and combo things in different ways like taking out hooks or trying to hyper things that don't aren't normally hypered or adding twists to things that's how snappy was created so don't be afraid to change things up don't just copy all the cookie cutter combos make it your own and make it different that's all for today please like subscribe and share i'm trying to grow this channel and help as many people as possible and also follow me on instagram at mr crispy 32 thanks guys